Good evening, day class. How you all doing? Um, my first court case I'm doing for extra credit. Um, I'm doing Brussel versus Bishop. Um, in the case of Brussel versus Bishop, uh, the court case was held in the Supreme Court of Georgia in the night in the early 1900s. Uh, the court case happened on December 16, 1921. The situation at hand happened was between a landlord and a carpenter. The lawsuit was filed by Colonel Bishop against Lee Burchell. The reasoning for this lawsuit is because the landowner was to furnish the land and fertilize the seeds. While the crop of Burchell was to furnish the stock and tools, the crops being planted were a part of the contract the cropper had. It was said that uh, Mr. Burchell had organized a mob to kill the plaintiff so that his, his property would be gone off of it. Bishop was informed that he was going to be killed. He begged for a moment to pray, but while down on his knees, the plaintiff shot him twice. The plaintiff shot him twice. The plaintiff was shot twice by someone in the crowd. Burchell had denied any participation in these acts. The plaintiff was in fear of his life, even after his life wasn't taken from him. Later on, some white men had agreed to take charge of the crops. A deal with the defendant and the settlement and plaintiff was, was willing to happen. In conclusion, the court ordered the crops be delivered and the plaintiff had his, his part completed, adjusted to the accounts between the plaintiff and the defendant. The court also granted a temporary restraining order and appointed a temporary receiver to the harvest of crops by letting the plaintiff and his family perform the labor there, from their forth. In the court case of Russia versus Bishop, um, there's many different reasons why this is a, it wasn't funny to me, but it was kind of like a selfish, a selfish act, if you would, would say. Because I feel like uh, the defendant, I feel like, I feel like he did have something to do with it, even though there's no real physical evidence to it. But I feel like he did, because he wanted that crop. Because when you think about it a lot, when you have a lot of land, it, it, it brings in a lot of money, too. You can grow whatever you want to on those land. <laughs> Second of all, uh, the plaintiff, the plaintiff was just an innocent bystander. He was just doing his job. And I feel like, thirdly, thirdly I feel like they should have kept with the agreement they had going on instead of getting the courts involved and, st and the defendant doing what he did, try to get a mob to kill him because now he's probably looking at other charges too, like aggravated assault charge, uh, attempted murder charge. <laughs> and fourthly, uh, the defendant had had a restraining order put on him after everything that happened with everything. So I'm pretty sure no one ever will work with Mr. Bishop again after everything that has happened. But uh, that's all I have to say for this uh, court case. And thank you all. Have a great day.